The Epidemic Intelligence Service (EIS) is a program of the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC). Established in 1951 by Alexander Langmuir, it arose from biological warfare concerns relating to the Korean War. The modern EIS is a two-year, hands-on postdoctoral training program in epidemiology, with a focus on field work. The EIS is operated by the CDC's Center for Surveillance, Epidemiology, and Laboratory Services in the Office of Public Health Scientific Services Persons participating in the program, known colloquially as, "...disease detectives", are formally called, "...EIS officers." or EIS fellows by the CDC and have been dispatched to investigate hundreds of possible epidemics created by natural and artificial causes. Since 1951, more than 3,000 EIS officers have been involved in domestic and international response efforts, including the anthrax, hantavirus, West Nile virus in the United States, and the 2014-16 Ebola epidemic in West Africa. EIS officers begin their fellowship with a one-month training program at CDC headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. However, 90 95% of their two-year term consists of experiential rather than classroom training. For the remainder of their service, EIS officers are assigned to operational branches within the CDC or at state and local health departments around the country. Placement is determined via a highly competitive matching process. The CDC pairs EIS officers with a public health advisor or PHA, forming a scientist EIS officer and operations PHA team. EIS is a common recruiting pathway into the Public Health Service Commissioned Corps. The EIS is the prototype for field epidemiology training programs, FETP, which operate in numerous countries with technical assistance provided by the CDC. Topic: History of responses. Since the inception of the EIS, officers have been involved with treatment, eradication, and disease control efforts for a variety of medically related crises. Below is an abridged timeline of their work. 1950s, the EIS worked on polio, lead poisoning, and Asian influenza. 1960s, cancer clusters, and smallpox. 1970s, Legionnaire's disease, Ebola, and Raye syndrome. 1980s, Toxic shock syndrome, birth defects, and HIV, AIDS. 1990s, Tobacco, West Nile virus, and contaminated water. 2000s, E. coli O157, H7, SARS, H1N1, and the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina 2010s, the aftermath of the Haiti earthquake, obesity, fungal meningitis, and Ebola. <laughs> EIS conference EIS officers attend an annual conference in Atlanta, Georgia, to present components of their work from the preceding year. During the conference, the Alexander D. Langmuir Prize is awarded to a current officer or first year alumnus of the EIS for the best scientific publication. The award consists of a $100 cash prize, an engraved paperweight, a case of ale or beer redolent of the John Snow Pub in London, and an inscription on the permanent plaque at CDC. A complete list of Langmuir Prize winners is included below. In popular culture 
In the 2011 film Contagion, the character Dr. Aaron Mears portrayed by Kate Winslet is a physician and investigator with the Epidemic Intelligence Service who was tasked by the CDC to discover the origin of a highly contagious and deadly virus known as MEV1 which was rapidly spreading throughout the world following initial outbreaks in Kowloon, Hong Kong and Minneapolis, Minnesota.